concern. The plans have been folded neatly, wrapped in waterproof paper, and put on the shelf. Most of the students here in the Morningside area now attend Poly High School, about a 45-minute walk from this point. For the time being, they're just flat out of luck. There's not even any speculation as to how long this vacant lot will remain a vacant lot. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. We have one lawsuit, one lawsuit filed, and uh, possibly three, maybe four other uh, letters of intent or have notified us that they, uh, it may belong to them for some reason. Have you had many inquiries? No, we haven't, really. Are you surprised? Frankly, yes. What about the yeah. letters of intent to file suit, or at least letters questioning uh, the ownership of the money? Can you identify any of the types of individuals who are writing? From the, uh, I think you're, you're inquiring, is it from a landowner? Yeah. Or from the name of the firm or something like this? Yes, we have in those areas. What about members of families who might be curious about the money? Well, uh, I don't have the letters before me, and I do not. They're written from attorneys' firms, and they they outline in those letters the specific people that they represent. And I think it represents the landowner, the uh, man who found it, uh, possibly some of the other people who were there. Uh, just lately, Vern, much better. Uh, we had that bad spell when we had the injuries and uh, couldn't really get ourselves organized. Uh, I think the, the crowning point was last week in Toronto, of course, we won three to nothing. And uh, not just the score, but the way the lads played, uh, we put on a great exhibition there, you know, that uh, must have stunned their fans as well as, as their team. Because uh, we played it uh, as best you could ever play the game and we showed exactly what uh, potential there is in this team. We played it around first time very confident and this is all comes because we got we got the goals early and it, and it took this weight off the lad's shoulders you know and took this tension away from they can play just as they wanted to play and and, and of course they're all excellent players how do you assess uh, what's before you this weekend in new york now here's a team that uh, you defeated late in the game down here in dallas a uh, very new york will be tough they're all tough in this league you know some teams are better than other teams but you never know whether they're going to be right on top of their form and you're going to be a little bit off your form which will even you up so uh, i never like to count my chickens but um i think after last week's good win we should feel confident enough to, to beat new york there'll be a big crowd in new york because of the double header uh and uh, we like atmosphere there's seven thousand up in uh, toronto and we enjoyed the atmosphere up there even if it was a lot of booze and cat calls and people throwing things at us but uh, it was better than, you know, empty stands. What all the secrecy is about, I don't know. The fact is, Paul Sims is in his last days as planning director of the Fort Worth Community Action Agency. Last night, a letter from Sims was read to the CAA Board of Directors, and for 23 seconds, not a sound was heard. No one spoke in Sims' defense. No one criticized him. The board's decision had been made, and that decision would stand. When this decision was first announced some weeks ago, CAA Operations Director David Payton cast his lot with his longtime friend, Paul Sims. He told me then he could not continue in his post without Sims as part of the CAA. Today, I talked with Payton again. He said, Jerry, I'm looking for a job. I've been in this business too long. About 60 applications have been filed with the board by people who feel they are qualified to run the agency. No successors to Sims and Payton can be named until a new agency administrator is hired. Some action can be expected on that in the next two weeks. Jerry Taft, 
Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth.
NCIC, the National Crime Information Center, and uh, there is no report in that uh, file at all on any of these numbers. That would indicate then that these particular bills were not involved in a robbery in well, not necessarily. I don't think you could completely rule that out. Uh, <clears throat> these are old bills, and uh, I don't know how far back they have uh, gone into their files and placed numbers on the computer. What is your next step now? Well, of course, we still would like to, uh, to ascertain if these bills are, uh, are here legally. Uh, and if so, who the owner is. Uh, it, it would appear at this point, however, that, that the court will have to establish uh, identity of the owner. At 12.50 on this day, the East Dallas Bank was held up by a lone armed gunman. An undetermined amount of cash was taken from three tellers. Mr. Brokaw, the president, emphasized that no one was harmed in the incident and that all the depositors of the bank are fully insured. This plot of land is owned by the Fort Worth school system. It's designated for construction of a new high school, Morningside. But for the time being, this land will remain just as it is. There'll be no bulldozers, no construction crews, no Morningside High School. Today, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, in line with recent Supreme Court rulings blocking construction on schools that would have a predominance of a minority as its students, enjoined the school system from further plans for this school. The appeals court also ordered the system to come up with a new desegregation plan. The case was remanded to Judge Leo Brewster's district court in Fort Worth. The court was ordered to oversee the reorganization of the district, and the school system was ordered to file semi-annual desegregation reports with this court. School Superintendent Julius Trulson told me that the school attorneys are currently in the process of translating the lengthy court order to layman's language so school officials can know exactly what they must do. Trulson said the school system has no new desegregation plan in the mill at this time. 